We started playing this on our channel in 2011, I just checked. Yeah, 2011. We tried to play this on an emulator and um, it ran like shit. So it ran very well. Um, and, you know, whenever we watch old videos, it, it, just, it uh, just frustrates us. So we're going to start makes me again. Cringe. This works better, so David's going to stand a better chance he can get his reflexes. It's a great emulator. Uh, what was I going to say? It's going to be great. Yeah, look. It's, it's going to work better. David's... Look at this. Look how smooth yeah, good this is running. running. This really puts David in prime I'm position. I'm in the corner. I'm, I'm really in the corner now. To strike back against these fucking and Nobody puts David in the corner. I put you in the corner all the time. Oh, okay. In the warfare band. Now, time to remember how to play... None of those buttons are the ones I want to press, right? I was trying to play oh, this... There we go, there we go. I was trying to play this the other day and... Not really doing very well, because I... I never played it. I think I always watched yeah, you do it. I don't. I don't remember you ever playing this game, to be honest. I'm thinking back, and I loved it. And I loved the the big the big beans cutscene. Can you get me that far tonight? Um. Can you finish this game in one sitting? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. No. Oh, um. No, I can't finish it, but like I'll get that far at least. Okay. Because I just love that cutscene. Ah. Okay. Well, I don't oh. So how far did you get into trying to play it on my shitty Mac? Like, what's the? <laughs> There's a Skull Monkeys 01 and a Skull Monkeys 02. Oh wow, there's two videos. Um, I'm pretty sure we got to that cutscene. The second one got less views but more likes. Okay. How does that uh, work? Passionate people. Oh, I forgot I could shoot uh, fucking energy bolts. Oh, wow. I think that would. Uh, oh, hello. Just look at the comments here. Wait. 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 Preoccupied with all these three-year-old comments. It's amazing. It's nice. Yeah. yeah it's who's, who, who's watching our fucking videos back then? Well, I can. I know. I can see at least one person here that is no longer watching us. <laughs> nice. Uh, a certain American woman. Sorry. Uh, uh, and blank. I can't remember which. Blank was watching back then. He uh, says. He posts a comment. So Do I try and do all the bonus stuff? Or? Do you really want to uncork that genie? Do you really want to yeah. get into that Vietnam? Uh, there's a secret here, look. Oh my god. god. You're pretty good at these games. Yeah, I know all the secrets. Did you ever win Skull Monkeys? I feel like I have, yes. Oh, this is amazing stuff. Oh, fuck off. It's uh, one in the morning, it's late night, Barry, down in 12, so we're, we're not doing the morning zoo. Ah, wacky, throw things around and yell at each other routine at the moment. Yeah, we just did that. <laughs> yeah, we've just been doing that for a couple of hours, and, um, yeah. Fired, yeah. It's I'd a nice low-key... Which one? Loki? Loki, yeah. Oh, do we get the, the bonus stage music? This isn't the bonus stage. No, but do we, are we going to get that? We will eventually. Okay, cool. I want that. <laughs> You're looking short order chef. You're going to fill up my All right, fine. No. I want the funny bonus stage song. Delicious. I want the baked beans cutscene. And something I've never and seen. And I before. want it tenderized six times. <laughs> wow. Um, it's going to be interesting looking at this chef try and keep up with the orders. Yes. Clean the toilets. <laughs> Look at this part of your job! I love Chef Ramsay's trips into the freezer. They always astonish me. Oh my god. Oh god! Oh, this, this is so revolting. Old. This is revolting. Oh my god. You're gonna kill somebody! Ah. It's that whole... Yeah, yeah, that whole spiel. Oh, I love the music in this game. God. It's so good. Did we say it enough the last time we made a video? This has the best soundtrack. And yeah. I don't know if the, the Army Crew game that's coming is gonna have a good soundtrack too. Fuck off. But, um... I hit that. I jumped on it. I'd hit that. I imagine that it will. If those guys know what's good for them, they will fucking... I, I sincerely hope so. I mean, I'm probably not going to play it. But, you know. I, it's like a point-and-click game. It's not a, it's not a... But I have no experience with the series other than this game, so I don't know what... Yeah, everyone's like, Hey, you haven't played The Neverhood? And I was like, No, I've played Skull Monkeys. So. We don't go back in time. We only go... Well... <laughs> I mean... We're I playing this, what... which is old. But you know what I mean? We're was not... Neverhood like a... My hair's a lot longer in this video than it was in our other uh, Skull Monkeys video. <laughs> when are you gonna get a haircut, Scotty? Well, I haven't had a haircut since we made our last Skull Monkeys video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting on the wrong side, I know. A disaster. I finally killed him. I killed the beast. I see we killed the beast! Right. So the. It has been a while since I played this, so I'm not gonna be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was. Up uh, to scratch. So. The, for a novice, I was doing okay, but I really had no confidence of where I was going or what I was doing. So, um, I hope I didn't miss the bonus oh, room stuff. Shit. I know you can't. I need to watch that. Use a little bonus room. Because I know you've had it. 
See, he'll be able to sing along with it. I'm just going to sit here almost about to sing along with it because I sort of know what's coming, but... You know, I haven't had here's a... I haven't had a bird into my head. But by the way, don't watch the first few seconds of the old Skull Monkeys video. There's something I don't want you to look at. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit embarrassing. I think I did miss it. Jesus Christ. What? No, 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 no. it's alright, it's alright. I want to see the bonus stuff. Yeah, we'll find it. Fuck off. Nice job. It's interesting, the game runs better, but you're, I slowing, run worse. you're slowing down because it's night time. You can't, you what? have those pro MLB... No, I just haven't played this in like fucking... Ten, reaction times. Well, four years ago. Your reflexes are... Uh, My MLG reaction times are... I should uh, actually, as a gaming experiment, see how if I can keep David awake for a record length of time and then get him to play all his usual games and see how <laughs> crap it is. fucking... Uh, trucks him again. Oh, God, I'm gonna... Until my dying day, I'll regret that we didn't record that. That was so fucking funny. <laughs> In the annals of time. Watching you drive into shit. <laughs> oh, we're in a different bloody world now. That monkey was very courteous. Oh, let's see, Chip, let's let you land there and get your bearings, and, and then I'll start to walk at you. Oh, fuck. Poor regard. I have elected not to retire. <laughs> Oh, shit, look out. Oh. Hang on. Uh, a game that I thought was very good at the time, probably hasn't held up well. Monkey Shine, is that a good game? Monkey Shine? Monkey Shine. On the Mac? Yes. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. Oh, which one's that? That's the one where you're a monkey. It's a oh, yes, monkey. yes, yes, yes. I should see if I can't oh, find that fucker. I forgot how these things are. I'm gonna find all the old games, play them all. Uh, jump on these, get a prize. Oh shit! Oh. Music's getting more intense. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Nice work. It's just it's it's just fucking brilliant. It's a uh, it's a marvel of. I mean, you, you play a lot of these 3D games from the same period, and they just look like balls. Like, I mean, we were playing Bushido Blade earlier. It wasn't bad. Yeah, there was something about, um... Early 3D. Early 3D. Just fucking shite. Especially because, like, I grew up playing games from the That's Amiga, bonus, and yes. everything was just drawn, and it was all very artistic, and the artwork was always fucking incredible. Oh, and then, you'd like, 3D was new, and you'd just have these boxy-looking shit fucking... I mean, it wasn't only play. It wasn't only the PlayStation that. Uh, that was everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, PC gaming. Some some of those games are just 3D for the hell of it. Did yeah. it need to be? It was mostly like sequels to old 2D ga mm. 2D games. Oh yeah, like God, there would have been a uh, like Myth 3D Lemmings. <laughs> Here's a little bonus room where you can <laughs> Don't be frightened, don't run away. I'm gonna put this in my iTunes. I'm your video friend. Your video friend. Think of me as a father figure with a hand to lend. Here's a little bonus room where you don't have to worry. Take your sweet time, you need not hurry. Oh, you're looking incredible. You're the bomb. And me, I'm kind of like your dad. And a little like your mom. It's the best. There are no monsters here. Hey, wait, look over there. I was just kidding. Don't be scared. Memories and when you turn of watching you play off in the real world once again, you won't have to play make believe, but try to pretend. Cause I'll be right there when you open your hand. Cause I'm your little invisible musical friend. So show me. What do you do with all the clay? Yes. Uh, you get a hundred and you get a lot. Oh, cool. You really will impress every nifty guy and gal. Show them you're individual. Show them you are bold. Be 
Besides, I get residuals for every game that's sold. I'm your little invisible musical friend for life. I'll never leave. Brilliant. Lovely. I love it. Oh, oh, set to like level one. How many levels is there? Uh, one of 17 worlds. Oh. I feel like that's wrong, but... Is this the one? Which one? Beans? Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. I feel like most of your memories are from the first, like, ten minutes of this game. <laughs> Why isn't it playing the song? It's a game. I do like what you managed to do with the, uh... Yeah. The video formatting, I, like I say, it needs a live blurring effect to really sell it though. But it is pretty good. But it is it, good. To have strong values and to maintain them. In marriage. In crime. In the war. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about it. In crime. <laughs> Always and everywhere. It does look pretty good. It's like we're a real channel. Yeah, like a real channel. The more you do, the more you do. Feel like a <laughs> I'm just a sucker for claymation. Look at this. Beans, yeah. Oh, no. I mean, I don't care if the new one's a point and click as long as it has shit like this, you know, cutscenes and stuff. I hope it does. Oh my god. It'd be a bit of a letdown if it doesn't. Oh, the Indiana Jones did. I mean, it's not the most mature comedy. <laughs> no, it's not advanced. But when you grow up with it, then it, it's funny. Yeah. If it was nowadays, I'd think this is really stupid. <laughs> really? Yeah, probably. Oh, okay. The, the same, like, comedy, you know? Oh, okay. And well, games that involve like farts as a mechanic. Oh right, yeah. So because he's got that special ability you now, where he like farts and things. Bitch. Right. Although you know, Abe's Odyssey had that as well. What's the? It's a it's a very well regarded platform game, but I never tried it. Uh, what was it? Uh, Heart of Darkness. What? I think it's what it's called. I'm gonna pull that up. Now. It's a isn't that a Evil Dead? What? Hey. No, it's a game. Oh, darkness. It's this thing again where the first one that comes up is a popular channel. I don't want to watch your fucking stuff, Game Grump. It's, <laughs> it's not happening. You're not getting your views out of me. We're Grump, and not so Grump, and we're the, the Game Grumps. We bought too many games. You know, I don't know. What that was, was that? Okay. Here we go. Heart of Darkness. Speed run. No, long play. Wow. Why did everyone get mad at Gra Game Grumps for uh, being rude? No one's mad at them. Who's mad at them? No, did John Tron, didn't he leave because uh, everyone thought he was being, like, he was rude? And now they're like a family-friendly channel or something? I have no idea why he left, really. There was some... No, actually, no? Well, I have no idea why he left. All I know now is that they make a lot of games, to, uh, game videos, and um, one of the guys is his girlfriend, and he gets dragged into all of the videos, and he always looks really bored and uncomfortable. She's like, oh, look, we, what's that thing where they send you a box of loot? Loot crap. Yeah, that's the one. I thought you were going to say loot box. <laughs> it would have been almost right. <laughs> anyway, she does these things, right? Where she opens up the box and shows off all the stuff, and he just looks like... Like he could not be less interested in being... In <laughs> yeah, I, I like, get that. Oh my god, man. Just fucking chill out. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm not criticising them. Um, I don't know why that guy left. I'm pretty sure it was because, uh... I, I see, I thought he got in trouble with people after he already left because he was, like, on Twitter and getting in trouble for being sexist and racist of, a bunch of stuff like that, I don't know. I can't remember every little fucking internet drama. I didn't expect you to. No, I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't. No, but I kind of wish I could, though, because, like, I, I hate talking about something without knowing anything about it. Sorry, we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> well, no, see, I no, want to be... When something comes up organically, I mean, 
I would like to be able to. It can work out. Yeah. And it is good. I have strong values in maintaining them. Marriage. And crime. crime. And war. Always and everywhere. Look at this. Well, no, no, what I was going to say is that speech he delivers. Is that him thinking? Or is that like He's him? Dead. Him at his trial, or talking to Detective Norman? Isn't he dead? Well, no, he gets killed. No, but what I mean is, like, that speech, where is it coming from? Yeah, this is his thoughts. Is he thinking it as he bleeds out? I don't think he'd have that long to think. It's his, it's his, uh, you yeah, know, his monologue, his epilogue. Because I think the, the Mafia 2 loading screens kind of insinuate that he says it at his trial or some shit, and it's like, eh, eh. I think it's kind of stupid. Eh, it's kind of stupid. And it's always really made me wonder, one of the lines in that epilogue has echo on it for no reason. I feel like the camera was maybe going to cut away or something and they never bothered. Oh, well done. How do you know this shit? Uh, <laughs> do, you want my, do you want my honest uh, answer? Yeah, sure. I've been running against every one of those blocks <laughs> since the start of the level because I can't remember where the secret ones are. <laughs> I just know there are secret ones. Oh, that's very honest of you. I was expecting, oh, you know, it's a lot of practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah just a pro. It's... I was expecting something like that, but, uh, David, you've another con secret. You've confounded my expectations. I found another secret, Scotty. Yet again. Uh, it's another bonus room. Okay, well, we don't have to listen to it again. <laughs> Do you want to know a secret? Ooh, la, ah, la. <laughs> Why are you doing that? It's a song. Yeah. Do you want to know a secret? Oh, secret, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I thought we were just making fun of the song. No, 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 I wouldn't make fun of this fucking song. I will make fun of the Beatles. Hey, Cynthia, you want to know a secret? I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do one with that song title. Do you want to know a secret? It's a question. He doesn't ask Cynthia questions. He just lays down the wall. Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty uh, relentless. I guess that's another one of those jokes we're not really allowed to make. What, John Lennon beat the show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think everyone, uh, everyone's accepted it, I think. But he's dead now, so. Well, she's dead too, she died earlier this year. Whoa, is that a boss baddie? Yep. It's the world's easiest oh, boss baddie. You want to try. No, I can't remember how to do it. You want to try God sometime. Now, there's a fucking game that's impossible. Wait, no, I remembered how to do it. I wonder if I could hook up these to the Amiga emulator. Uh, yes. And then you could save state your way up to that dragon and then do it properly. <laughs> since you bitched out last time. I didn't bitch out, I lost. That's, well, you know, one of the It's same. different. This Heart of Darkness is pretty good. Look at this game. Alright, how do we do save states on this? Can we? Yeah. I'm gonna just fuck it up. Save state. Yeah, slot one. F1. You can play F1. What the fuck? But it's one. <laughs> it's just <press> one. <laughs> you would have been so pissed if you fucked the game up. Press. And you went to load it. Oh yeah. That oh, works. Oh. I don't remember the codes for the levels. Isn't this the emulator that you use at your house? Yeah. But I don't remember the fucking button I pressed that one time when I was playing Hercules. <laughs> Hercules! <laughs> this looks pretty good. What is it? Oh. It's Heart of Darkness. I think it's made by the flashback people. That's cool. Wait, was it? I might be lying. Wait, you're lying, right? Don't, don't listen to me, I have no idea what I'm talking liar, about. Liar, liar, I'm a fucking bullshit artist. Ocean Software. I think that's that. Oh, wait, no, it's published by. Oh, but it's designed by the Art of This World guy. Art of This World? Can I say that? Okay. 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 World of long plays. Let's see what other PlayStation games he's done. This channel has like a billion videos. He's just played everything. Are they in uh, separate videos or are they just one big video? They're long videos. Look at this, like four hours, two hours, three oh, hours. That's nice. I think he just at some like when when this was all still new, he got on the long play bandwagon and fucking just became the channel. Asshole. That could have been me if I was good at games. Yeah. That keeps that keeps coming up. It's a bit of a limitation. I keep thinking there's yeah, all these really, things. Uh, yeah, it's really bringing us down. Yeah. With the things we could have done or things we could still do, and then I sort of get that hurdle of like, oh, hang on, I'm not really good at the games. Like, <laughs> oh, whoa. I wasn't expecting the end of the level to be right there. Oh wow, look at that. Oh. 
It's kind of like near the end. It really gets into like precision, uh, precision platforming, precision jumping. Yeah, where like the platforms are like the width of the character. How long is this game? I said 17 levels. Um, I don't know. It's an hour and 15 minutes <laughs> if you play it like that guy. Oh well, I'm playing it pretty well. So we'll okay. see how we go. Like a oh, okay. Oh, I've... you burned a skull monkey! I ignore it. Wait, no, what's he? They're skull monkeys, what's he? No. Oh, what's he? Okay, that's cool. Marmaduke? <laughs> Marmaduke? <laughs> Marmaduke, yes! Here come old flat top, you come grooving up slowly! You're ruining my game experience. You're <laughs> 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 ruining my immersion. Yeah. Down to his knees. Got to be a joker. He just do what he please. Where are you gonna come with that one? Come together right now. Over me. You learn the drums for that one, Vega. Alright, cool. Yeah. <laughs> if only I had a drum kit. So we're all, you know, which Who album are we going to cover? It's pretty obvious. Abbey Rose. <laughs> Abbey Rose. <laughs> Another world master. God, you're going to be done this in like half an hour. It's sort of... uh, these aren't worlds. These are just levels oh. within the world. They're two worlds colliding. I don't know where I'm doing it. Just, uh, just making the pun. Oh, look at that. Oh. Scout monkeys everywhere. Surrounded by them. Not enough cutscenes, really. It's been a while since we've had a cutscene. <laughs> it's like the third level. Well, and I, there's I, been. <laughs> I feel like there should be more. How cutscenes have there been? There's been like two cutscenes. In the dark of night. By my side. So. I need to call you. Have you ever seen the video for that? No. It's another one of these music videos where they've done the trick where it keeps zooming past them, so it's like it's perpetually zooming in. Um, it's very clever. Nice. Yeah, when Chad gets a music video for, uh, let's say, change of heart for argument's sake, I think it should be just the camera that continually one? zooming past Chad's face. It's, been yeah. change. Ah. it's It's really a shame that realistically I'm never going to do anything with them again, <laughs> because like, I, I think, you know, his songs would just lend themselves so well to, like, all that garbage. And I think it'd be fun. I think he'd, I think he'd enjoy himself. Well. But, uh, well, no, the Beatles have broken up. And there's no getting them back together. <laughs> Look at that. Straight in little play the ball. It's like you yoko him or something. Yeah. Nah, well, no, exactly. As I'm always saying, my idea is to, like, do stuff. And if we do it well enough, maybe we can convince him to it. Yeah, we have to. We have to come up with something. That we have we to take to the, lure the white whale back. Yeah, exactly. To the harbour. Exactly. When did the white whale ever go to the harbour? Isn't that where he first saw it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Captain Ahab was on the deck of his ship. No, Captain Ahab was drinking coffee at the cafe. <laughs> and yeah, and the whale splashed him, and he got seawater in his coffee, and over, all over his eggs. So no, the whale saw him and did the same thing he did. <laughs> Spat coffee all over his newspaper. The whale is having a whale coffee. Spat coffee all over his newspaper. Exactly. And then they decided, you know, that's it. No, I've never read Moby Dick. It's probably not a. It starts with the. Uh, it was the best of times. <laughs> it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. But, um, it was a whale of a time. <laughs> <laughs> that's I. Yeah, of course, that's how it starts. No, um, I did see. Parts of the Patrick Stewart miniseries where he played Captain Ishmael. Yes. Captain Ahab. <laughs> you can call me Ahab. Oh, damn it. Actually, I never read it. I don't know if Whoopi Goldberg felt slighted that they had Alfred Woodard, I think it's a name, as black actri actress in First Contact. She got to be in fucking uh, playing, Generations. Playing the role of... Yeah, but she didn't even really get to be in that because she spent most of the film as a an ghost. echo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that a ghost? <laughs> she doesn't say this. She's like, think of me as an echo. Or a ghost. <laughs> Damn it, I fucked up. Should be more quick saves. True. Two worlds colliding. Now 
Oh, the audio just fucked up when I did that. Ooh, that's all we need. That's nice. Fucking audio. Wow, can we pause it? Maybe it'll go back to normal. Come on, game. There's it. Holy ish, man. No, yeah, the, the Patrick Stewart production of that film, or that story. Oh, look at that. I'll just re quick save and then it works. The, uh. There's chips to sit. <laughs> They're tempting. Don't move chips around, Scotty. I don't know. Um. This might seem like a really dumb question. But is there like an actual story to this game? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, the evil engine number nine. Uh, ah! uh, the guy's making an evil engine, and then the other scum monkey's like, wait, that's not actual. There's a big evil engine being made, and I have to stop it. Engine. Engine. Engine for what? Evil engine number nine. In, in the intro cutscene, isn't there like a planet? Nine. Like the whole planet there? And... It's really quite frustrating trying to remember something that you Yeah, have. we didn't watch the opening uh, cutscene, so yeah. that's... Something you have almost no memory of, it's kind of really... It's not a nice experience, because you... It's like trying to describe a dream you had when you were a kid, and then you realise, actually, I don't really remember. Like, one of my earliest memories, I don't know if it was a thing that actually happened or if it was a dream I had. Yeah. But it was being outside and having a spider on my face. Like walking into a web. No, I never. don't think that would have happened, but we did used to have a lot more garden spiders in the backyard. Here you go, Scott. Cutscene. Oh, look at this. Small cutscenes. Finally, I get what I fucking paid for. He's the smart scum monkey who wants to stop the, uh, the, um, engine from being made or some shit. Oh, so he's our friend. Or is he just, not our friend, but sort of working in the same? Mm, yeah, kind of. Don't eat the worm. Don't eat the eye worm. Oh, Sky Monkey. I mean, whatever your name is. Hey. Oh! Hey. Skull Monkey. I'm gonna find out his name. Uh, I'm finding out. I think he's gonna send him. Send a message. Wow, look at that. Potato. Hang on. Oh, the player controls Claimer. Well, that's um. I feel edified now. Yeah. Any Murphy fire. Oh. Oh, is this package for us? Is it, did we get another special ability? It's got a message on it. What do you do? Dear Clayman, thank you for responding to my call so promptly. That wicked clog monkey has got my people working on a deadly weapon called Evil Engine Number Nine. He's going to use it to blow up the neighborhood. <laughs> Sounds daunting. Yeah. Route that will help you when you need it most. Sincerely, Jerryo. P.S. Do not eat of the root, or you will be an evil Oh no, what happened? So do not eat the root. Hmm. Or you'll I love the music in these levels. Oh, the snow stage. I remember there being snow stages. That's what I used to like about all games, like, um, <clears throat> Magic Pockets and, um, and Craig and Thog bong heads, bong, bong heads, bong heads, <laughs> bong heads, and, and this is like they have these different sort of nice worlds and stuff like. like we never really played the full uh, bong heads, but like they had like a water world and the. This is fucking hard. I don't know what the hell was with that. I feel like that game never was nearly as easy as it should have been, <laughs> especially with all the practice we put in. This isn't the song that was. <laughs> these levels have great right. music. What is this shit? <laughs> they do. You just gotta get to them. Okay. Whoa! Oh, fuck! Oh, calm down. Oh, shit. These monkeys oh, I thought I could jump on that. Try and play guns. Oh, wow. You timed that pretty well. Gotta, gotta time this just right. 
You come all over you, purple hole. <laughs> Mastering the moving controls. Yeah, the moving controls. <laughs> I can't help it. I heard somebody load a gun just like. Yeah, they're, they're loading the. That was our subscribers. Oh shit. Bang. All oh, this is well and good, but do you really. Is it really <coughs> nice to be murdering all these skull monkeys? I mean. They're trying to kill me. Maybe they just do what they do. I've got another... Ah, uh, here we go. I've got another newsletter telling me about the state of Elite Dangerous. That's nice. A game that I haven't played since I bought it. <laughs> it's... I just want to wait until I know there's more to do, but the last time I looked at it, there was more to do, but I still couldn't wrap my head around uh, it. How do I shoot? I can't remember. I'm losing my lives now. It's okay, you so, can yeah, but I don't want to keep quick, uh, doing the thing. Oh. Although I probably should be. Yeah. I don't want to just, yeah, quick set. No, of course not. It's like today, I was playing Formula One, and I'm, I'm almost, I've almost won a race, but I've had to quick save like three or four times, which just takes the fun out of it. Like, it's just, it's, it's taunting me. It's like, guess what, Scotty? You know you couldn't do it without fucking quick saves. It's like, fuck off. Wait, wait. Although, to be quite honest, you kind of need them to even up the odds, because the game keeps doing dumb things to me, like computers driving into me for no reason and shit. It's like, well, you know, haven't I earned a little, you know... Quick save action? Yeah. Haven't I earned the assistance? Look at that. <laughs> David being defeated by Skull Monkeys. Yeah, I mean, it. Can, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, if I compare the amount of times I played the first, you know, two or three levels to the amount of times I played this level. I'm like that with many games. Like, like I've played the whole game, but you know, I haven't played the whole game much <laughs> compared to. Oh, damn it! Yeah, no, I, there's tons of games where I know, like, the first couple of stages way better than the rest of it. Well, like, a thing like Mafia, there's two or three missions that I've always, you know, if I'm revisiting, I'll play them. Yeah. So you know them really well. Yeah. Fuck's sake, I keep doing the same dumb thing. That's not, that's not the, uh, you know, the game's fault, it's my fault. I should be keep, keep, keeping notes in a book that says David's fatigue. On the front of it. It's not fatigue, I'm just bad at the game. As he enters the 23rd hour of consciousness, his focus becomes blurred. Something. Yes. He begins talking to people that are not there. Look, Tina, it's. <laughs> David appears to be talking to a man called Vincewood about their time at the academy. This does not make any sense to me. Whoa! Uh, you're wrong, because I, I'm, not, I'm not talking to Vincewood anymore. <laughs> He and I are done. <laughs> Not after what he did. Not after what he pulled. After what you pulled. After what you... You truly belong with me in the clouds. Oh, thank you. Not you. The hairy one. <laughs> Come on, Chewie. Get in that private suite. Take one for the team. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I feel like Chewbacca was often traded. Sexual favors for things that Han Solo wanted. Come on, Chewie. We're giving you free kibble here. You gotta <laughs> pay your way sometime. Come on. Probably just need a fresh tuna. Tuna. <laughs> tuna. It was 11 year old Scotty's idea of faithful Han Solo dialogue in my fan fiction. Stuff, did I ever read that whole story or did I just read bits of it? I don't remember. No, I did it on a podcast. So yeah, but, uh, I find it. I hope I kept it. <coughs> Escape from Yavin.pdf. Ooh, guys. Into the mind of Scotty Lawrence. Which, what, what's it? What should I read? 
As Han sat in the control tower, he immediately noticed something about Luke's craft, and he ran down to the docking bay. The right wing's laser turret was just about burnt off. Luke jumped out. Some normal patrol run, said Wedge. I was attacked out of nowhere. First, I was just over the city of Tyrol, and then whoosh, I was damaged. Luke yelled under the sound of the dying engine. Did you take the flight on your sensor so the crew member? Why, Luke asked. Because there is no way a normal TIE craft could outgun the next week. Han turned to Luke, as this meant they definitely had to find a new base, and soon. What is this? this doesn't even make any sense. TIE fighters outgun them all the time. Here's the bit about the tune-up. Oh, it's at the start. He wished he could learn the ways of a Jedi, and he was sure there was a way to learn. He could almost feel it. I tell us Ooh. He gave up on the X-Wing and walked over to Han Solo. Hi, kid, he said. <laughs> Luke replied softly, Whatever they did to R2, I don't like it. Well, he probably just needs a fresh tuna, Han said happily. Cheered up, Luke walked over. <laughs> Cheered <to the> up! <laughs> hey, Luke, said Wedge until That's dead. Hi, Wedge. I was just about to leave. <laughs> I mean, this is a good story. It's only five pages. It's a good short story. I'm gonna put this PDF oh, fuck. up. If you guys remind me, I'll put the PDF up and you can read the whole thing. In case you're into that. In, in case you're into good Star Wars fanfic written by a ten-year-old. Or eleven year old. Or... We've also got this Santa Stark porn. Which... I think I also read on a podcast once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. It was garbage, actually. It didn't really do much for me. <laughs> Something about women kissing. <laughs> Vomit! No. Uh, kick the stuff. Ew! I'm not covering that anymore. No more kipper. Um, that's pretty much everything. Sorry guys, we're the shit of this game. No, you, you're just a bit out of practice. No! Whoa! No. Where do we go? Bonus. Uh, I don't so... like this. Uh, the bonus room! It's supposed to be safe! Safe place! Safe places on the internet! <laughs> ah, god damn it! There's monsters in the bonus room? Monsters in the bonus room. Um, I don't want to sound like I'm obsessed or anything, but what day of the week does Rick and Morty come out? <laughs> well, I just had a curiosity, just, you know, casual. Uh, just, 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 I think it's Monday, I guess. The sewers. The sewers canal. That's where the Egyptians swim in their own shit. <laughs> you imagine Egyptians with scuba... scuba pipe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, it's our own poo. Oh no, we're in the poo! And they're trying to swim upstream, but they can't because they oh, no, I can't swim in the poo! The big shits are drifting past them! <laughs> oh, that's making me want to play that Pharaoh game. Oh. You remember that one? Flebs are needed. Flebs are needed. It was that series of games, yeah. You know, I always thought Flebs meant like, uh. Money? No, I had no idea that was what he was saying. What? Well, how's this? I, I, thought, know what plebs are. I thought he was speaking ancient Roman. Plebs in me day. Or whatever. Yeah, I didn't know that plebs meant uh, <coughs> Twitch subscribers. <laughs> Everyone says plebs. I found a spicy one! What the fuck? That was like worse than the bloody Tabasco one. Cool. Assholes! It's because it's right down the bottom. You must have collected all the spice. So here who controls the spice controls the Dorito factory. Who runs Barter Town, Scotty? Is that uh, a thing? It's a Mad Max thing. Is <laughs> oh. there a Mad Max game that's... Is it out or coming out? I don't know. Oh, what, Solomon... Has it got Mel Gibson or uh, Tom Hardy? Oh, you know, that would be really cool if it was Mel Gibson. Because I'm just not scared of Tom Hardy. Right. He's a big buff bodybuilder, but I reckon he'd snap like a twig. But Mel Gibson has some serious anger problems. Even if you could beat up Mel Gibson, it's like... He won't quit. He will fight until he's dead or you are. Whereas Tom Hardy, you know, I feel like he'd fight for a while and be like, oh, Alright, I've had enough. He's been to shadow and an echo. Whereas if he was winning the fight, he'd be like, Alright, you've had enough, get up. Come to dinner. But <laughs> Come to dinner. <laughs> Come to dinner. I feel just what you feel. No, but Mel Gibson, unhinged. If he fucking unloaded on his wife, just think, think of what he's going to do to you. He doesn't even love you. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even have that guy. Yeah, exactly. So, so to, to answer your question, I would rather have Mel Gibson in the... That wasn't your question, was it? 
question. I watched Solomon watching a Mad Max game video, and it looks like it's a sort of a Red Dead Redemption sized sort of world. Yeah. Roughly, it will take. I haven't played that in a while. I'm such a fucking idiot. Yeah, well. when, I, when I got the Xbox hooked up on here and I was playing a bit of Red Dead Redemption and streaming it and stuff, I'd be saying to whoever was watching, guys, can you please help me figure out how to find the train? Because I don't know when it comes, I can't find it, got the other. I sat down one, one day and I was looking at the map, and there's a locomotive icon wherever the train is. And what are you talking about? Red Why Dead were you Redemption? trying to find the train? Because I wanted to tie somebody up and throw them on the railroad tracks. CJ, all you had to do was follow the train! <laughs> God damn it. And, um, yeah, I wanted to, like, yeah, you know, the old trick of tying somebody up. Yeah, I get it. And there's a locomotive bike on where the train is. All the time, in fact. All the time. Making it very, very easy to track the train down. Not so easy to catch up with, though, because... Oh, it's interesting. By the time... No, this is... <laughs> by the time you've ridden to where... I mean, the train moves quite quickly, and your yes. horse is... Horses, yeah. It only has one horsepower. 97 little horses. But, um, <coughs> I like Red Dead Redemption, but I can never be bothered. I always have that over me. No matter how fucking hard I try to make my life more convenient, it's still a pain in the ass to play Red Dead Redemption. Oh, yes. I've got an Xbox sitting right there. I can fire it up whenever I want, set it up here so I'm an expert. But it's still too much of a fucking hassle. I mean, as for GTA 5, <laughs> I've never played like that. How far did you get? Oh, uh, 10 cent maybe. 10 cent. I was thinking of playing it the other day, but I know that every time I leave it for a couple of weeks, there's going to be some update that I have to download. 10 cent. How do I get this book? You can't. You will never get that book. This Egyptian sewer sure does fucking stretch for a while, doesn't it? <laughs> You don't need the T14 hyperletra generator! <laughs> hey, scan it! <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Yeah, it was excellent. Good beer! In the Machu Picchu, the Mata Pasa! I like his uh, old uh, modern voice. Lil Lenny? Lil Lenny? I feel like Gene Simmons is gonna sound like that. I don't on. know if I say. <laughs> That's the annoying thing. You don't know whether or not you say so, Hey! You're a Jedi now, eh? Where we go? My tricks don't work on me. Only money. Yeah, I'm a Jedi now. <laughs> Jeez, I'm trying to find my mother. Oh, your mother. I sold her to a strip club. It's <laughs> good pay. Where? Tell me, Wano. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Aiden Christmas. Yeah, man. Oh, you know. <laughs> Turn to uh, You brought her here to kill me! <laughs> That's what I meant to say. You turned her against me! Yes. Your lust for power have already done that! <laughs> Your lust for power has already done that! <laughs> you have justice! You have allowed Peace. this dark lord to twist your mind until now! And security of mine, your empire! So now you become the very thing you swore to destroy. Your <laughs> new empire! Don't make me kill you. Anakin, my allegiance to the Republic! To democracy! Democracy! I can't quote that so much, we never watched it. Yeah, but we did. We did watch it. We Crucially, we watched it at a point in time where our brains were still expanding. So it seeped in there. So very difficult very to get rid of. I really hope there's... Whether good or, for good or bad, I hope there's quotable bits to this new film. Yeah, I've quoted that scene to people, and they're like, what are you, what are you quoting? <laughs> I was like, I'm dead. Anakin, I'm <laughs> Wait, so are you saying when you go to a random friend and go, bop, 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 they don't know what you're talking about? No, not... No. Bop, 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 bop. I'm just like, you know, the dialogue from that scene. Yeah. <laughs> that's just... Ah, what? It tricked me. Um... No, as I say, I hope I hope there's music that's quotable, and I hope there's at least a couple of lines that's uh Again, I've said this before, but you know it's gonna be more like Juju Abrams. Yeah, it's gonna be like the Star Trek 
films in the sense that you're not going to really enjoy it as much. Like, it's going to have those kind of jokey bits that you all go, uh, Yeah, funny. well, hopefully those all, like, center around the new characters so I can sort of compartmentalize things. Because here's the thing, like, I don't give a fuck about any of these new actors, except for the girl, she's kind of nice to look at. We don't like, uh, uh, the... the Tyrese? John... <laughs> no, it's like John Chico, or...? Or Boyega? Boyega. The... John. Is it John? Adam Driver. Come on, what's with this fucking face? The new villain? He looks yeah. muddled. Well, maybe he'll be a good villain. The thing I love about this film, it's got, faces it's got very diverse casting. Uh, they've got uh, the, the big chick, the, the big dumb bitch from Who Cares Where. She's in this, and, and she's wearing a Stormtrooper helmet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they've got um, Lupita the Bongo, uh, the black chick. Playing an alien. And she's got like the motion capture avatar hey. rig on her face, so you're never even going to see her face, which I think a bit rough. She probably wanted to be like Lando's daughter or something, and instead she's going to be some sort of <laughs> 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 Why What? What are you saying? <laughs> I don't know, it's something that Wano says, come on. Woodbeard! <laughs> Woodbeard! <laughs> Since they know everything! A T-14 Avatar Generator! <laughs> Shit, I fucked up. My drinks do not work on me! Only money! No pants, no pot, no deal! No hey. money, no pass, no deal! And you won't find anybody else who said, Deep put it up and down, 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 Wasn't there another guy in the game? Wasn't there another guy that sold it? Barbo's shop? Yeah, didn't he have it? I feel like there's a side quest where it's like you think you're gonna get it and then you, in the end you don't. It's like a scam. It can, it can never be that easy. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good game. I don't know why you didn't finish it the last time you were playing. <laughs> How far did I get? I watched the speed run, and I'm pretty sure the guy just runs into Barbo's store, kills him, and then that's the part that Anakin needs to fix his pot, and then the whole <laughs> level just ends. Which uh... is probably how I would have done things, if I knew that's how it worked, but it's not really true to the Kusha. canon. Kusha. You know, I, know, I don't give a fuck about the new characters. Um, they've got this vaguely sort of Natalie Portman looking chick with a big fucking mouth, which I think she's she's, she's pretty nice to work with. Yeah. She's like the daughter of a uh... bit of eye candy. Um, <laughs> I'm, like, I, I'm, I'm fucking kidding. Now, I think people don't, people don't realize it. People don't Is she meant to be Han's daughter? People don't know what I'm kidding anymore. There's awesome. pictures of her sitting in the, in the cockpit of the Falcon. Yeah. When she gets up, he sniffs the seat. <laughs> no. No, um. But I've already complained about this. There's like going to be this fucking 30 year gap. And it's like, how are they going to... Are we going to have an opening scroll that's going to just tell us what we missed? Or are there going to be fucking god forbid flashbacks and shit? I mean, what are we What are we in for here? How are they going to explain... It's just the scroll, isn't it? Nothing worth making a movie about happened in 30 years and then all of a sudden we've got a movie. Well, what's the point? What do you mean? Well, it's not like... Was the story going to oh, be, well, just... Chewie, I guess nothing happened, and then, oh, what, what... <laughs> they wouldn't make a movie of the stuff that didn't happen. I guess. That's why the movie's being made of this stuff. Ah, uh, it's just kind of weird. They expect me to believe that in, Star in the Star Wars universe where things are happening all the time, like, events took a break for 30 years? Like, how they going to... They took a break for 30 years when, like, for a bunch of time. Yeah, okay. As long as nobody, well, nothing was happening. As long as there's no, like, tie-in comic, comic book that I have to fucking read. Isn't there already? No, well, you see they're starting it all again. Like, all that stuff is, like, being hung on. Never happened. Yeah, but don't they, uh... Doesn't Han have a wife or some shit? Well, you know he's Princess Leia. Han wants a wife? No, he has, like, a wife that, uh... He's, like, an arranged marriage or some shit. What? What are you talking about? I remember hearing about a comic where... Yeah. They run into Han's, <laughs> oh, you know, just some sort of marriage, like past marriage. An arranged marriage. Not an arranged marriage, like a business It was marriage. a really disorganized marriage. Chewie, I told you to do the catering. Oh, oh, oh. It was like a business marriage, you know. It's just a bunch of dead bearers dangling from ropes. For his green card or something yeah. on, uh, yeah, yeah. Coruscant. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's in the comics, isn't it? I, uh, back when I was Leia's like, what the hell is this all about? I read a couple of Star Wars novels <clears throat> when I was younger and they weren't that bad. A bonus level? Yeah. Like a real bonus level? Just one of these again? 
collecting oh, them. <laughs> so it's not like an LSD mode where everything goes all. Well, it's. Oh. Sorry. It's gonna get annoying. <laughs> I should have mapped it to something on the controller. I don't think you can do that. So this might bounce where. Thanks. Fuck. I still feel like I should just buy a PlayStation controller. So that Why? It's, <laughs> it's not more appropriate. They're the same fucking thing. I should have bought one of each. What's oh, look, it's Jason Momoa Constrictor. <laughs> I forgot that this was a boss in the game. What the fuck am I looking at? What the hell? <laughs> I'm sure there's some sort of crazy in joke. Even if you don't finish this game, can I just call it complete walks? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Oh, I thought I could jump up. Apparently not. You are an excellent woman. Okay, so how do you kill him? He burps. There you go. And he shoots fire. You know, there's one game we started doing. Well, rather, I just I was actually letting Nancy and Tina do it. But, um... Uh, yes. I canned it. Because I felt like I was being boring. In hindsight, I should have just let them do the whole thing without me. But, um... Uh, Wrath of the Gods. Yes. It's a fucking good one. I think uh, I should get them to do that again. The problem is, uh, like, they couldn't remember how to win it. Yeah. It's never been an issue before, so we didn't want to lower our standards. Well, no, no, like, there was lots of. It was worse than usual, and I, at that time I wasn't really editing or turning things out. But, um, no, I reckon. Uh, yeah. Give it another go. Yeah, I never played that game, at least. Oh, well, yeah, it would have to be done, because I never, I never won the whole thing. I played the demo about a million times. That didn't get old. <laughs> I don't even know what a uh, gold thing is. What is it called? The, the gold thing that you get in the game? <laughs> the fabulous golden fleece. Yeah. You're welcome to the treasure. For many have tried to take it, but all have failed. Yeah. Oh, shh. Oh, does his health fucking go back up? Oh, fuck off. Wait, which one's low? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to accidentally... <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if you save state the, uh, the, like, the game over screen? I've... I've inadvertently done that on, uh... Hey, John, so Mini -gate. Oh, hang on, I think so. Oh, I can just do this. Oh, the dubs of feast. Okay. <laughs> I realize that. What is this guy? I wonder if that guy ever thinks of this game. He's probably dead. <laughs> oh. Is he? after you're done with him. I'm allowed to say that. Elevated structure of terror? Terror. Hmm. Oh, look at those soft clay clouds. Don't you just want to wrap yourself up in them like a big blanket and then head off to the kiln and be baked into a perfect clay? Oh, yeah, this is what happens. Oh, oh. shit. I was trying to remember what the fuck happens and stuff. You go tiny and then these things actually hurt you. Wait, what? Like, I just stepped on it before, but now I'm tiny that they can oh. kill me. Universal so like... Hanima. I like a lot of the late 1990s slash early 2000 games where they just have a lot of the sky stuff. Like, there's games where you're off in the fucking. You're yeah, from the sky. What was it? I don't know if it was one that you used to play where those little. You're like a ball rolling around or something and you're up in the sky and all bats and stuff. It was not a Nintendo game, in which case you wouldn't have it. Your ball up in the sky. Maybe not a ball. No, oh man, I can't remember. So this is that thing I was talking about before when you're trying to remember like a kid dream. But you don't really remember. It was inspired. <laughs> it was very... Oh man. Oh, fuck off. Really. No, I can't even Google it because I don't know what I'm looking for. Damn it! Check that here. I'll take that bet. Where'd you mind you racing part against the same? Avoid it. Not but the flames. Not by a long shot. How's that fair? Never, you let fate decide. Eh? I just never have a chance, you. <laughs> oh, look how much fucking phantom menace I can shove in your ear. Okay, stop. No! Don't 
WTF David is my total biscuit top hat. WTF is the top hat? I don't know. The thing is, does Total Biscuit ever wear a top hat or has it just become his thing? I think a few, there's a few like uh, live events where he has. Because he, he's doing like StarCraft casting. Oh, okay. I'm sure he wore a top hat at some point. I'm sure he's wore many hats. Even if it was just like a joke. You know. <laughs> like that time he walked on stage with an IV. Yeah. <laughs> like that. What the Just like that. <laughs> Betty, what the hell? Betty, what the hell? <laughs> What's the one? I hate him. Hate's a strong word, Betty. I hate Nazis. <laughs> oh, Mad Men's full of little gems. She's right in the next room. She's going there. <laughs> Betty, what the hell? What the hell? Yeah, Henry Francis is pretty good at that. What else has he been in? In bed. In Betty Draper. No, um... I remember seeing him or something. Henry Francis? And I was like, ha. Hey, it's uh, Henry from uh, Mad Men. And I was just like, okay. It's funny how just a lot of TV actors just are in all of the TV shows I've watched in the past few years. A lot of Game of Thrones, Deadwood people. And... It's just, um... Actors, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm... Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at this. Oh jeez, there's nobody updating the Mad Men wiki because his final appearance is recurring. Wow. What do somebody you know, has guys? to uh, let them know that the show's over. Where's the portrayed one? Christopher Stanley. Here we go. Christopher Stanley. Why don't you just it? click on it and it would take you to... It's going to take me to the Mad Men page, isn't it? Yeah, but then there's an IMDb. Do you like that? Oh, what the fuck? Christopher Stanley is an American film and television actor. Yes. That's known in his role as a politician, Henry Francis. Oh, that's the best name ever. Really? He's in Zero Dark Thirty. Argo. Oops. What? Uh, well, this is the same movie. He's more of a TV actor. He's been in Boston Legal? Ooh, he's good. Well, that's a show I actually have on DVD. Excited, yeah, get excited. He's been in Lie to Me. Without a Trace. <laughs> Maybe he was going to lie to me, because I remember sitting watching that one. Uh, the like X-Files. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's been in a bunch of shit. <laughs> he was on a show called Silk Stalkings. Oh. Wow. Imagine being the pun master who came up with that. Fuck. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? Anyone here from Alaska or been there just wondering what it's like? Haha. Ha. Well, um... Uh, I, can... I don't know what to say about Alaska. Plenty of moose. Carol or whatever. What's happening in this country? These guys are trying to kill me. Oh. I have never seen this. <laughs> I've never been past the bit with the baked beans. And even then, I don't think I was actually playing when I saw that. Is that actually a friend? No. Oh no! He's going to eat us! You just don't see effort like this in, uh, in your modern riff-raff fucking games, man. Mm. Nothing like claymation. No, I guess that's not true. I mean, you know, like, I would think that the, the work put into redoing the Halo 2 cutscenes would probably be pretty intense. Yeah, that was a lot of love and... That's pretty full on. But I guess it's just by default it's hard to appreciate that sort of work that it is this. 
It's not a nightmare, you can just see this. It's yeah. real, you can touch it. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I have actually completed this game. Because if this is level 6 out of like... 17... I don't think 10 year old David would have bothered. I don't know, I had... Oh god, I knew that was bad. I think all the hot ones are at the bottom. Oh. What happened? <laughs> okay. Ooh, spicy. I can't remember what this stuff does. <laughs> what music? Oh, glidey bird. Oh, <laughs> spicy chip. Whoa, what happened? What? Oh, yeah. There you go, up when I'm in this. Oh, it's an updraft, just like Glider. There's a game with Glider? Glider's the one oh, with the, your little paper plane. plane and you fly around the house. Ah. There's a fucking epic. Yeah, it really pisses me off that nobody knows any of the games I know. Yeah, that's what happens when you just play shareware games. <laughs> Oh, I feel like they've all just missed out because they haven't had the same shareware upbringing that I have. Shareware is care. Share. You know, when I, when I admit that I don't know who the fuck Sonic is or, or Mario, and people, and people, well, I don't really care though, like, I've got no history with them. They're like, yeah, what? Sure. You never played Mario? I'm like, well, man, no, of course I didn't. I was busy playing Infrastructure. I was, yeah, I was busy rocking fucking Marathon and Sir Richard the Lionheart and. <laughs> some rather <laughs> random titles, but you know what I mean? I was like, fucking. Yeah. We all have different upbringings. You know what? I feel like you fuckers missed out. How do you like that? <laughs> but anyway. Doing pretty well on this level. Just drawing a little, you know. Got to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> In the dark of night. Don't small. In the dark of night, boom, by my side. In the dark of night, by my side. I wish you were, wish you were. In the dark of night. <laughs> dum 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 dum. Last word. So how far through this game do you think you can actually make it? I don't know. I thought I could beat it, but I forgot how many levels there. Look at a pocket on this Tom Selleck shirt. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. I've only had it for ten years. What more? I've never used it. I must have somehow. Oh yeah. Ah! Ah! I just don't see how a world like this could really exist. Like. <laughs> okay, yeah. Continue. Oh, what the it hell? It doesn't seem very plausible to me. I mean, the physics don't really ring true. Why is this big To my understanding of the universe, as I think we fly around on it. And the whole clay being alive thing. Uh, no, I get what you mean. I don't think it's really happening. <laughs> you know when they make documentary, like they make those <laughs> fake documentaries, like uh, yeah. lost, no, sorry, found footage, uh, horror films and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like this. Yeah. This is found footage. Uh, so obviously, yeah. that monster was on there. Yeah. Stuff like that. There needs to be. There has to be some sort of untapped potential for found footage because I mean it's all been done now. But I reckon there must be. They some... just have to do it good. <laughs> like they never found. Every time I, I watch, like found footage stuff, I haven't watched that much. Found honest, footage but... of uh, Egyptian sewage plant <laughs> worker. <laughs> His day at work. <laughs> No, I'm in the sewage. I'm in the pool. Help me, Agla. I'm stuck in the pool. Oh, oh no, I'm, all, I'm getting all wet. <laughs> my hands are wet, my feet are wet. <laughs> Covered in pool. Everything is pool. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. To name just one possibility. Fan <laughs> footage. <laughs> Alright, well, it's up to you. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know any Egyptians. Ah, see, that's what uh, the incense for. Casting off. You know, Egyptian to wait to poop. I, I, I made a joke post on Facebook ages ago saying, um, has anybody used Tinder for movie casting? Yeah. yeah. 
can't remember what the punchline was, but um, to be quite honest, that couldn't be the worst idea. Shit, I the bird stuff. Like the, it would. I'm not saying it would work, but at the same time, I mean, it's not entirely impossible. There really are all kinds of people on, on Tinder. Well, and if they're gonna fuck, then I'm sure acting in a Free. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to remember if they did that in a film. For a film or in a film? In a film. That's oh, like crap. a part of the story. See, I'm not going to make that part of any story. I'm thinking that's going to work, sure. No, I'm just saying, like, your idea is, like, might not be original. Oh, right. Well, I'm... I thought of it independently. Again, I'm... <laughs> it's not. It's not about whether it's original or not. I'm thinking, I'm, I, you know. I like to make movies and, uh, well, people are hard to come upon. You yeah, know, what's that, um, Zack and Mary make a porno or some shit? Oh, well, Jesus, why the fuck did you watch that? What's wrong with you? But, I uh, just, any. Uh, this fucking, uh, fat. Whatever his name Seth is. Seth Rogen? Seth Rogen. Yeah, I can't stand it. Thinking about him just being naked at all is just, uh. Yeah. Because he was part of the porn. You know, he's. Uh, Zach. And I bet it was so hilarious. <laughs> it was like a little Star Wars thing to the corner. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't know, it was very... I mean, you know, how, how long can you have the same nerd serving you up the same jokes before it becomes all the hat? It's already on hat. Is he still in film? Or did, did he make bank and sort of went, right, cool, I'm done now? Uh, as far as I know, what was the thing he did? I guess it was um, the interview. The interview, well... They faked Korea trying to shut that down so that more people would watch it. And then the whole world was like, whoa, this feels really shit. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that great. Oh, did you see it? Yeah, I did see it. So a, lot of, a lot of good racism then? Uh... There were some funny parts. When I say good racism, I'm like, you know, obviously. Like any... Like any comedy, there's like, funny parts. Yeah. Like, no matter how bad a comedy is, usually there's a few funny jokes that you can kind of go, yeah. I think it's a what knocked up. I mean, I really hate that movie for the message it gives you, but, I mean, there's plenty of funny jokes in it. And I think a lot of people, like, some people we know, would just, out of stubbornness, just not acknowledge those jokes, just to prove a point. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you know, certain persons don't want to admit when a joke is legitimately funny. Oh, just okay. because... You mean like Paul Rudd doing the impersonation? Maybe. I don't know. I, I, w I wouldn't have nominated that as a specific joke in the film. That's all you talk about. I think about <laughs> to be honest, I think that's just the kind of thing I find funny. <laughs> I mean, okay. But, but while you're poor on doing the impersonation. While we're talking about it. Issues? Hey, on issues? <laughs> that's a pretty Robert good impersonation. impersonation yeah. My shoes! Did you puke on my shoes? <laughs> Did you puke on my shoes? <laughs> shoes? Hey. Well, and then Seth Rogen does what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's not as funny. Hey, I'm... <laughs> it's just, look, I'm in a minute. Okay. I got... I'm pretty sure he says some funny things in the movie. But, um... On balance, no, I'm not a fan of that. I'm pretty pissed off about it, actually. The plot is basically... Somebody in my socio-economic level, but with more body weight, gets with... The weather girl. I mean, like, basically. Like, and I, I don't care. A and by the way, he spends most of the film being fucking awful to her. Yes. <laughs> um, wh what? What? <laughs> Why are people watching this? It's terrible. What is wrong with you? I, I remember, and I'm such a cynic, and uh, I saw that film when it came out with Kristen in the cinema, and she was like, I was like, yeah, it was a really funny movie, but. God, what a shit message. What, what, what dumb do they think I am? And then she's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, no, come on. This is... yeah. I think Superbad's legitimately a better film. Um, definitely. Probably suffers from all the same problems, but yeah. it hasn't got as much of that bullshit element where it's like... Oh, okay. The fat Jew still gets with uh, Emma Stone, which I, again, find to be very implausible. Yeah, but it's like the end of the, the comedy and it's like, mm, See, uh, oh, you know, why, did the, why does the end of the comedy have to have a happy ending? I don't think it would. I don't think it makes a difference. Oh, shit, I, fucked up. I think the film would have been way funnier if, like, they saw each other at the supermarket and she was walking the other way. 
<laughs> but I'm just like I'm saying, like you don't need to have the fucking the uh, the same ending as every other movie. Because I mean, oh. yeah, no, I get what you mean. I understand. I oh, know, but it wouldn't have suddenly made it a credible film. <laughs> so you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, no, but super bad. Probably funnier. I don't know. Yeah. Watch it. Now. It was still funny. And yeah, it was pretty funny. Are you progressing? <laughs> I haven't been paying attention. Uh, it's, it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> to be honest, but uh, you know, I think I am. I mean, you, like I say, you don't have to finish the game. I'm going to call this a speed run or a long play or a long speed. Um, no matter no matter what goes up. So. Uh, what goes oh, did you see that fucking shit? Must come down. Do you think if we slipped Courtney Murphy a 50 buck note, he would have played some of his hits from Australian Idol? 50 Island? bucks, come on, he's worth yeah. more than that. He certainly acted like it. Come on, guys, Australian Idol was 11 years ago, get over it. Ooh, someone's a serious artist. <laughs> well, it was. Well, yeah, he is, but you know. <laughs> he acted like he's not, yeah. It was pretty it was cool. A, it was a good band to see Courtney Murphy and his brothers playing some of the hits from the Beatles catalog. Should have done some more though. I fucked up. I think I'm done. Well, I've got to go to the toilet. Yeah, David's gonna piss. And, uh... No, I don't. Oh, oh he's gonna do the other one. Well, you gonna? Are we gonna wrap this up? Or? Oh yeah. Uh, Skull monkeys. Those Skull monkeys. The full game. Uh, save state. Uh, yep. Yeah. The full game. That was, that's the end of the game. There's actually a glitch where there's no more game. 